Our out-of-this-world lead is indeed out of this world, located a staggering 390 light-years away. For context, one light-year is equivalent to about six trillion miles. In humanity's relentless pursuit of unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos, we've embarked on a quest that transcends time itself, seeking answers to age-old questions woven into the fabric of existence. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unblinking eye, recently detected a glimpse of a structure predating the birth of stars. This celestial object appears older than the universe itself, raising more questions than answers. How could a structure exist that predates our universe, or is the Big Bang Theory at fault? Join us as we embark on an odyssey guided by the revelations of the James Webb Telescope. The secrets of a 13.8 billion year old structure await. And the journey to unravel cosmic mysteries has only just begun. In a distant corner of the cosmos, roughly 200 light years away, an ancient star called HD 14283 resides near the Libra constellation. This stellar traveler moves briskly through space, offering intriguing glimpses into its tumultuous past. About 12 billion years ago, during a time when our Milky Way was still in its infancy, it absorbed a dwarf galaxy that once called it home. Yet what truly captivates our cosmic curiosity about HD 14283 isn't just its speedy journey, but its astonishing age. Among the celestial entities we've observed, it stands as one of the oldest, earning the endearing moniker Methuselah Star. Akin to the biblical figure Methuselah, who legend has it, lived for 969 years. Initially estimated to be a staggering 16 billion years old, the latest calculations suggest a slightly younger age of 14.46 billion years, with an uncertainty of 0.8 billion years. This revelation about its age puzzled astronomers. After all, the age of the universe deduced from the cosmic microwave background hovers around 13.8 billion years. This conundrum raised important questions about the star's age, the universe's age, and even the accuracy of our dating methods. Let's break it down. Figuring out the age of celestial objects can be a real puzzle. Take stars, for instance, like the sun. They are like eternal light bulbs, maintaining their glow temperature and size for billions of years, making them tricky to age date. Astronomers play cosmic detectives using changes in brightness and color as clues, matching these with models predicting how stars change over time. One big giveaway is how fast a star twirls, like a wheel slowing down from friction as stars do. By comparing the spinning speeds of stars at different ages, astronomers have figured out a cool trick called gyrochronology. Stars also reveal their age secrets through magnetic gossip. Flares and bursts of energy on a star's surface are like youthful enthusiasm. And as stars age, this show slows down. Astronomers, being the space sleuths they are, use advanced techniques like asterosismology, which is like eavesdropping on a star's inner conversations, listening to vibrations caused by waves traveling through its insides. These vibrations spill the beans on the star's age. For instance, applying this cosmic eavesdropping, Astronomers roughly clocked the sun at 4.58 billion years old. Now, let's revisit Methuselah. The ancient aura around it isn't just random. Astronomers tagged it with a crazy old age by checking out its cosmic neighborhood. Stars can be split into categories based on how much bling, or heavy elements like iron, they have. Our sun is a bit of a metalhead, belonging to population I stars. While Methuselah star, on the other hand, is like an old-school rock star from Population I.I., rocking fewer heavy elements. It's this stellar bling that helps astronomers play cosmic archaeologists, deciphering the age tales of these celestial beings. Now, imagine a group of stars, the theoretical Population I.I.I., which scientists believe might be the universe's rare gems, while they're still hiding backstage and haven't made an appearance in our telescope spotlight. A row of suspects suggests these stars might be the rock stars of minimalism, containing almost no heavy elements. To understand this stellar lineup, let's rewind to the universe's early days after the Big Bang. Imagine a cosmic kitchen filled mostly with hydrogen and helium. Like the universe's basic ingredients about 92% hydrogen and 8% helium. Or if we weigh them, roughly 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. 
In this cosmic symphony, the first actors on stage were the population I, I, I stars. They were massive and hot, burning through their cosmic fuel swiftly, transforming hydrogen and helium into heavier elements. When these early cosmic giants exploded, they scattered these heavy elements into the vast cosmic space. Next in line were the population I, I stars, forming a bit later but still in the universe's early days. Their original materials were light on heavy elements, especially iron. Many of them danced through their stellar life cycles, bursting into supernovas and adding more heavy elements to the universal mix. Finally, the population I stars, including our sun, emerged as cosmic latecomers, forming from enriched gas clouds mingling with remnants from the earlier population I stars. Now, the big question, does this stellar story throw a cosmic curveball at the Big Bang Theory? It's a head-scratcher. But here's the twist. Considering the uncertainties, there's a 70% chance that Methuselah star, the ancient celestial wanderer, could be somewhere between 13.8 billion and 14.6 billion years old. There's a 66% chance that this ancient celestial wanderer's age is playing outside the cosmic rulebook. Similarly, there's a 15% chance it's not just a little outside the box, but even younger. Imagine rolling a regular six-sided die and hoping for that elusive six. It's statistically plausible, right? But regardless of these cosmic curveballs, what's certain is that Methuselah star is not just a cosmic veteran. It's the granddaddy of stars. We've managed to give it an age tag that's pretty darn precise. Now here's where it gets mind-bending. Instead of scratching our heads about whether Methuselah could be a couple of billion years older than its galactic neighbors, let's flip the cosmic script. What if the universe itself isn't as young as we once thought? Wrapping our minds around 13.8 billion years is like trying to fathom the vastness of space itself. If we turn the entire history of the universe into a cosmic calendar, with the Big Bang as the most spectacular New Year's fireworks, Earth wouldn't even join the celestial bash until the last seconds of December 31st. Human recorded history? Well, that's merely a blip in time, covering just the last 10 seconds. Our stellar detectives determined the universe's age by peering at ancient starlight. Born a few hundred million years post-Big Bang, as the universe stretches, it gives this light a cosmic makeover known as redshift. Crunching the numbers on both distance and expansion, scientists declared a universal age of 13.8 billion years. But hold on, because the cosmic plot thickens, a cosmic whisper from the University of Ottawa suggests the universe might be a whopping 26.7 billion years old. Professor Rajendra Gupta brings in a vintage theory from 1929, crafted by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky, and it's shaking up our cosmic understanding. This theory throws a curveball, suggesting that as light particles, called photons, journey across the vastness of space and time, they lose some of their energy. Even though this idea doesn't perfectly align with what we've seen through our telescopes, Gupta proposes a cosmic compromise. He thinks we can blend this theory with our existing idea of an expanding universe, creating a sort of hybrid explanation for the redshift phenomena. Now, fasten your seatbelts because adjusting the universe's age to a whopping 26.7 billion years is no small feat. Gupta adds another spice to the cosmic mix by combining the tired light theory with the concept of evolving coupling constants a brainchild of theoretical physicist Paul Dirac. This concept suggests that how particles interact may have changed over the eons. And hey, scientists have a history of tweaking the cosmic clock. Back in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble thought the universe was just a mere two billion years old. We've come a long way since then, refining our cosmic math. Doubling the universe's age is like taking a giant leap in our cosmic understanding. But let's pause for a moment. Whether this new perspective becomes the cosmic norm is still up in the stars. Regardless of whether humanity's recorded history is a mere blip of 10 or 5 seconds in the grand scheme of the universe, one thing's clear, the cosmos is a treasure trove of ancient wonders and endless inspiration. Shifting our gaze to our cosmic backyard of the Milky Way, there's a captivating cosmic tango at play. Recent measurements hint that stars on the outskirts of our galaxy are strutting their orbits in slow motion, compared to their counterparts in other galaxies. What's the cosmic scoop? Well, there are a couple of theories. 
One whisper is that our Milky Way might be low on an invisible cosmic ingredient called dark matter, the elusive substance influencing the gravitational dance of celestial objects. There's a cosmic puzzle involving dark matter, the mysterious substance we can't see, but that seems to play a gravitational tug of war in the cosmos. One possibility shaking our cosmic understanding is that maybe we've been looking at dark matter the wrong way. Our cosmic compass might be pointing in the wrong direction. Here's where the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite steps into the cosmic spotlight. It's like the ultimate stellar roadmap, charting the positions and movements of over a billion stars, from our galactic core to its remote outskirts. And what it's unveiled might just leave your jaw dropping. Recent findings from Gaia suggest that dark matter might not be uniformly distributed in our galaxy. Instead, it could be forming patches, like a cosmic cloud that's a bit thin in some places, and thicken others.